evening. Welcome to the Northampton City Council meeting, the first one of the year for January 3rd, 2013. I'm City Council President Bill Dwight. Uh, we will start by pub with public comment. We only have one person signed up, uh, but people are welcome to step up and speak after he speaks if you're so inclined. Uh, we we ask that you keep limit your remarks to three minutes. We understand that if you're just winding up, we, you're not going to be penalized, but if you uh, go egregiously over, then then you'll be ruled out of work. Uh, first up is Paul Phillips of the Lathrop Communities. Uh, good evening. I'm Paul Phillips. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm executive director of Lathrop Communities. It's a pleasure to be back before you to uh, speak again on behalf of our application to rezone the uh, 716 Bridge Road property. Uh, from RR to URB. Since 1989, uh, Lathrop has been providing high quality nonprofit housing and services to older Northampton residents. Uh, we are an important community resource, and the demographics are clear that our services uh, will continue to expand as our population ages. We are good neighbors. Uh, we provide an important service to older Northampton residents. Uh, we pay our fair share of property taxes, and we generate very little by way of service cost in Northampton. Future expansion of our services will not only meet an important social need uh, by providing more opportunity for seniors to stay in the community where uh, they want to be as they age, but it'll also generate additional property tax revenue. Simply put, senior housing is a very good deal all the way around for cities and communities like Northampton. This past summer, the 716 Bridge Road property became available to us. It's a rare opportunity uh, when an abutting property like this becomes available. And contrary to what uh, our neighbors have represented, we do not intend to develop dense housing that would be out of keeping with the neighborhood or inconsistent with our existing campus. The fact is that uh, if granted, URB zoning would permit something in the range of perhaps 10 to 12 units on four acres. And these would be modestly sized single story homes for seniors uh, designed to be compatible with our existing campus, which we believe uh, since 1989 has fit in very well with the neighborhood. Site design would very carefully address stormwater management issues and would be subject to multiple levels of planning and permitting approval before any final decision about development of the property would be rendered. We're seeking a change. Uh, to URB zoning so that we have an opportunity uh, to begin preliminary planning and conceptual design work. We believe uh, URB is consistent with the existing campus that we operate uh, and have for many years. We also believe that it's consistent with the goals and pr principles of sustainable Northampton. With all due respect, we do believe it. it's unfortunate that the deliberations about zoning have been in some ways co-opted by a focus on drainage issues. And technical issues such as drainage and stormwater management should be addressed through the site plan approval and permitting process, uh, not uh, through the zoning process. The question before you is whether you believe URB zoning is appropriate for this property and whether it's compatible with your vision for uh, Northampton's future. By approving a change to URB zoning, City Council would not be approving development of the property. City Council would only be granting approval for Lathrop to explore development of the property that would be subject to very careful and deliberate planning and permitting processes. If concerns about stormwater management cannot be addressed through that process, we would, uh, there would be ample opportunity to deny permitting and the prop property would not, not be developed. If on the other hand, intelligent site design and collaborative effort to resolve existing drainage is successful, there'll be ample opportunity uh, for Lathrop and Northampton to roll out the welcome mat to probably 15 or 20 new seniors that would be very happy to make their home there. I would uh, ask that any decision rendered uh, be rendered not as if this is a planning and permitting decision uh, because it is not. Uh, please render your decision uh, based on whether you believe URB zoning is appropriate for the property as we seek to expand our services to uh, more Northampton uh, older residents. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Is there anyone 
else who wish to speak in uh, public session? Please uh, provide your name and, and your address. Of course. Uh, yeah, my name is Scott Flynn. Um, I live in South Hadley right now, but I'm representing the Northampton Firefighters. I just wanted to take uh, a brief moment to reintroduce myself as the president for 2013 going forward. Um, my uh, brother Mike Hatch is um, through with that position his term after two years, and um, I just wanted to, again, like I said, reintroduce myself to the council. Um, we wanted to um, take a minute to come here tonight to um, you know, hear the comments that are going to be made about the business that pertains to our department, our union, and um, we thank you for your services. So, thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak at this time? Councilor Volkman. Mr. President, Councilors, you can see how out of it I am because I forgot that we'd moved to 7 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to speak just briefly about the uh, request for rezoning for the Lathrop community. Uh, which may come up again tonight. I know it has come up before. Um, and, and I simply wanted to support the change in zoning. Um, I go out to Northampton Lathrop quite a lot because I'm a member of a group called Learning and Retirement uh, that meets out there quite often. And uh, it strikes me as being exactly the kind of development that we should be encouraging in this kind of a location. Um, it's not too dense. There's a lot of green space. It's a, a, a very well-maintained, well-kept-up kind of place. Um, it offers real opportunities for people who are getting older, uh, and um, it's good for our economy. It's good for our community. So I hope you'll move forward on that one. Thanks very much. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak? Uh, okay. Well, then, the secretary, please call the roll. Here. Present. Here. Here. Present. Here. 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 Now, approval of minutes. Move to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions are accepted. Uh, we're now at the point of proclamations, resolutions, awards, and recognitions, and I'd like to uh, have uh, Ned Huntley come step forward to the podium for a presentation. Hello, Ned. Hi, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's that wonderful time of year again. We just had our Employee of the Year Award. This is our 12th year doing this. Uh, uh, important uh, program and this year we had 15 nominations from staff uh, even though we couldn't recognize everyone uh, we did choose one person to be recognized this year it was interesting because under, once again the underlying theme was being dependable and willing to help the staff the city the residents of Northampton um, I did want to thank you uh, thank uh, Look Park the Center of the Arts Smith College Academy of Music and Chamber of Commerce for their continued support of this important program to us uh, Greg's name, Greg, why don't you come on up? I knew you'd get recognized yeah, at some point here. here. Go, yeah. uh, those who don't know him, this is Greg Nuttleman. He's our chief operator of water treatment plant. He is responsible for the clean water that brings to the citizens and the businesses of Northampton. He's been working up the plant for about a uh, two year term right now, and he became the chief operator about a year ago. He started with us in uh, 2000. Uh, five is a part-time reservoir ranger so he's been in the water work side of ever since he came to the dpw uh greg's name will also be displayed on the wall at our front end just uh, with 11 other awardees of the past and i want to say a couple things about greg um, as he was described by his fellow workers uh, he was described as someone who refuses nothing and has a can-do attitude takes on added responsibilities as without question trustworthiness and loyalty works well with others and quick to offer assistance. And the one that really struck to me when we were going through this whole process of, of evaluating all the candidates was an eagerness that is infectious among staff, which is really true for him. He knows how to get people going and moving in the right directions. So with that, um, I'll turn it over to Council President. Uh, it, it's a shame, Greg, that you couldn't get any family members to come out and support me. <laughs> 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 um, 
The, uh, I have here the plaque, and I'm going to read the plaque. It's, uh, for the Employee of the Year, we express our sincere appreciation to Greg Nuttleman and grateful recognition of your outstanding performance, productivity, and dedicated service. We award this certificate from the no Northampton Department of Public Works, awarded in December uh, 2012. Uh, it's signed by Ed Hunt Ned Huntley, Edward S. Huntley, David Narkowitz. Oh, and uh, Jim LaRue is on here as well. So. <laughs> uh, come on up. I'm gonna, I'd love to give this to you. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice and fast. Congratulations. What are we going to here? <laughs> <laughs> Good job again. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Our recommendations, which will come before you, a unanimous recommendation of how to set up the Committee on Compensation for Elected Officials, which is that the committee that was that we need to have within 180 days of the ordinance of the charter being approved, because it's an ordinance that said this committee will be set up. So we we've, we've made some recommendations unanimously. They'll come before you in a, a few council meetings. But I'd like you when the when the meetings are finally approved and you'll see them come down the pike, if you could take a look at our recommendations so we can have a, a very good and and uh, <laughs> beneficial discussion. Any other announcements? Council Murphy, then Council Dan. Uh, two quick ones first on behalf of the police building committee and the police department. Thanks for everybody that came to the open house. It was spectacular. I think it went an hour longer than it was supposed to. There were so many people who toured the building. So uh, and thank you to the counselors that came. It was an excellent afternoon and, and a chance for everybody to say thank you to the citizens for supporting the override to build such a beautiful facility. The other. No, uh, take all your um, little uh, decorations off the tree before you uh, try to. Your lights. Uh, real cost saving suggestion. Thank you. Any, any other uh, announcements? No. All right. Uh, we have no appointments, no elections, or public hearings scheduled. The, uh, I will call for uh, recess to uh, finance, please. And we now proceed the chair to uh, Council Murphy, who is the chair of the finance. Mm -hmm. um, Mary, could you call the roll of finance? Council Murphy? Here. Council Here. Council Here. 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 And we only have one financial order on our agenda for tonight. Um, and that would be that $45,000 be appropriated from the FY13 general fund undesignated fund balance or free cash to the FY13 legal judgments accounts relative to Michael Hatch et al. versus the city of Northampton et al. Um, for move, purpose move, go on, discussion, right. you know, motion? I uh, move to recommend. Move. Second. Second. All right. 
Um, the mayor, I think, would like to address us on this matter. We uh, again, I'm just seeking the uh, the count city council's approval to transfer these funds uh, from the undesignated uh, fund balance, free cash balance, into the legal uh, uh, judgments account uh, that will allow uh, me to um, uh, continue um, uh, toward a settlement in the matter of Michael Hatch. Uh, at all versus the city of Northampton, Massachusetts at all. Uh, that account currently does not have sufficient funds uh, to cover that settlement, which is why I need to have the council's approval to move additional funds into it so that uh, we can uh, attempt to proceed with the settlement. Any discussion? No. Ready to vote on recommendation? All right. All in favor of a aye. recommendation aye. say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Um, is there any business that uh, we didn't have time for? Is there uh, any financial update? I see Susan's not here tonight. Does the mayor have financial uh, update for us? I, the only um, question I had uh, was that in the finance committee, um, last finance committee, there were a number of or, basically five questions that were asked during that finance committee meeting relative to the capital plan. And I have the information in response to those questions. I don't know whether you'd like me to just convey it now or wait to the regular meeting for each one of those orders, or whether it would be helpful just to give you the, inf the information yeah, as the, the order is update. Yeah, the order's on on the finance agenda. Do you want the mayor to do it when we're voting? I, I prefer the mayor doing it now. Okay. Um, uh, is it your preference that if, uh, sh with this recommendation, if it, goes through, if it passes before council, that we do two readings? That would be my request. Yes, that would be uh, in, the, in the matter of the transfer to the legal settlements account. I would I would ask for two readings um, so that we could uh, proceed um, and 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 not have to wait until. Uh, yes. Um, so in, I just wanted to update you on a cup on several of the questions that you had in the finance committee about the capital plan that I presented, um, and uh, the questions. Uh, that were asked. There was a question um, from Councillor Freeman Daniels about the Green Communities Grant for the Academy. You had asked how much that was for. Um, that grant was a to for a total of $98,000. 61,000 of that was marked for the roof insulation and air sealing at the Academy, and the, ba and the balance was for the air sealing and insulation work at Memorial Hall. So. The money in question, you were asking how much of the G Green Communities money was being leveraged. It's for the Academy project, it's 61,000. Great, thank you. Um, so that's the follow up to that. The other question, um, Councillor Tacey had asked a question about the um, underground tank removals and whether or not that was something that had been specced out in the ESCO. Um, uh, there, there was discussion of a, there's a contingency fund. Um, and, the, and the types of things that a contingency, the contingency fund could pay for. Um, so it may have come up in that context. At this point, the focus of the, the, most of the focus of the contingency funds has been to pay for things like asbestos abatements um, and other environmental engineering. There is a small amount in the contingency left, and what Mr. Pomerantz told me is that the 40,000 that we're asking for for the removal of the tanks will do most of the work they do expect it may go beyond that, and they and they do intend to use some of that um, contingency fund as part of the ESCO to help to pay any additional costs above the forty thousand. Um, so that's the answer to that one. The other question that you had, uh, Councillor, was about the vehicles, the DPW vehicles that were being replaced, um, the sewer van that you had asked about. Uh, you wanted to know what vehicle was being replaced. It's a 1986 uh, one-ton cube van. Uh, it currently uh, needs brakes. Uh, the brake lines are rotted, and it won't pass inspection. Uh, that's the van that they're requesting money through the sewer fund to replace. The other truck, uh, the water truck, uh, that was also on that was, um, and this is a little bit more complicated. They had a 2004 crane truck uh, that's undersized for its use. Um, and so what they're going to do is buy a 550 truck 
uh, without a body, exchange the crane body with the new Ford 550, uh, and, but with a regular dump body on the 2004 truck. So they're going to do some moving around uh, to, to get that crane body on a more appropriately sized vehicle. So that's, it's a replacement, but it's kind of a two-step replacement of the vehicles. Um, and I believe uh, the final question, the, I'm just trying to, oh, the other question that you asked, Councillor Tacey, was about the, um, was about the, the fire engine apparatus. And you had asked whether or not um, that we would be uh, keeping engine five if it was replaced or, or what the actual disposition was going to be. The information I received was that based on the wear um, and space considerations, the intention is to try to trade it in at the time of the purchase. Um, uh, but they, I was, I was told that um, depending on what the trade-in value comes at, if it's if it's if it's really low, it, there may be consideration to keeping it for parts. You know, for for basically um, scavenging it for parts for engine four. But at this point, the intent is to try to trade it in as part of the purchase of the new apparatus. My concern was that was apparatus floor space. Was exactly. Cool. Yes. I didn't want to see it parked up behind the DPW. For, exactly. Alongside the other one. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Um, so I believe those are the uh, those were the questions, the specific questions that you had about the capital plan, and those are the answers that I've been able to get. Um, and that really completes my update. Uh, uh, so the, the finance director was um, involved in in another matter for most of the day, so I um, gave her the night off. Uh, <laughs> she, she needs the night off. So, okay. Thank, Thank you. you um, any new business that we did not reasonably anticipate tonight? I don't know of any. Does anyone on finance? A, a motion to adjourn finance? Move to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Now we're back in the regular session. Um, we have the committee reports from Committee on Appointments and Evaluations, meeting minutes of July 2nd, 2012, and also the minutes from November 27th. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. This uh, were the street acceptance, the petition for street acceptance of Sanderson Avenue, which is calling for a referral to the planning board and the board of boards. Move to refer. Second. Any discussion about referral? Uh, Ned's gone. Okay. They all went to have a party. So. <laughs> but this is for referral, so this will come back. So the whole point is off to questions. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? And now, uh, this is upon the recommendation of Mayor David J. Narkowitz, $45,000 to be appropriated from the FY13 General Fund Undesignated Fund Balance, or otherwise known as free cash, to the FY13 Legal Judgments Account. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Second. Uh, and I'm giving you the file number. It's 11512. Five seven six zero 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 relative to uh, Michael Hatch et al. Uh, versus City of Northampton, Massachusetts et al. So there's a motion seconded. Uh, any discussion on this? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Suspend Rule 14. Second. Second. Uh, all those in favor of suspending rules? Aye. 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 Second reading? Opposed. Second. All right. Second reading. Any discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Questions? It's passed. Breaking. <laughs> uh, we are booking. Um, this is upon the recommendation of Mayor David J. Narkowitz ordered that the following capital projects be appropriated from the general fund uh, FY13 cash capital account, uh, 19303. 586300. Um, this is in second reading. Um, do you want me to itemize it? No, just Go. itemize it. No. Okay, is there a motion to approve? Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? 
This is on the upon the recommendation of Mayor David J. Narkowitz, the following capital projects be appropriated from the FY13 general fund undesignated, undesignated fund balance, free cash. Uh, this is for central services, MPS, fire, DPW, and um, and DPW. Move to approve. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? This also is upon the recommendation of Mayor, Mayor David J. Narkowitz, $17,046.97 be appropriated to fund City Hall exterior modifications, including roof and front step repairs, and meet that and to meet that obligation, reprogram <coughs> funds remaining uh, from the following completed projects. Uh, Mr. President, yes. can I move orders uh, four through eight as a group? Yeah. Is there any objection? Okay, let's do four through eight. Uh, these are these are all second reading of uh, capital, capital expenditures that we've already approved the first reading. Um, one is for $545,000 to be appropriated for the purchase and equipping of a frontline attack fire engine for the fire department and meet that obligation appropriate the following funds. A total also of $300,013 uh, be appropriated for the purchase and equipping of a dump truck for the DPW and meet that obligation the appropriation of $243,160 from the 13 general fund undesignated fund balance and the program $40,362.23 from account 3,025,09.15, 12 for the DPW capital vehicles, and $16,477.90 from account 3,035,915, 11 for DPW capital vehicles. Also, 22,000 be appropriated for the Spring Grove Cemetery roof repairs, uh, and appropriate $11,894.31 from Cemetery Perpetual Care Trust Fund and reprogram $6,288.69 from the account 19303 uh, which is the Spring Grove roof repairs and $3,000 and $3,817 from account 3,035.080308, which is for DPW roof repairs, and then $500,000 from the FY13 general fund undesignated fund balance be appropriated for the capital stabilization fund. Move to approve. Second. Yes. Piece of discussion. This is a question for the mayor. I believe last uh, at the last last year, uh, you said um, that free cash would still have a little bit less than a million dollars in it after the, even after this transfer. Uh, when the um, the transfer to the capital stabilization fund, yes, we would still have a free cash balance of about one point four million. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, a little less than one and a half million. That's correct. Okay. Yes, although obviously you've also taken a vote to transfer another five thousand. So, so, okay, so yes. one point three five million. Exactly. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor of approving all of these? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Uh, upon the recommendation of Mayor David J. Narkowitz and the Community Preservation Committee, whereas the Historical Commission submitted an application for the Community Preservation Act funding the State Hospital Fountain Project, and whereas the project leverages additional fund, uh, public and or private funds, whereas the fountain meets the definition of an, of an historic resource as defined by GL 44B2, whereas the fountain has been determined to be a relic of significant local history by the Northampton Historical Commission, and whereas on November 7, 2012, the Northampton Community Preservation Committee voted unanimously to recommend $75,000 in Community Preser Preservation Act funds to be used to support this project. Now, therefore, be it ordered that $75,000 be appropriated from the Community Preservation Act funding to the State Hospital Project, and that the grantee meet the conditions approved by the Community Preservation Committee, the Mayor, the, and the City Council and that the park will be permanently protected through city ownership or a conservation restriction. Specifically, $75,000 is appropriated from the CPA Historic Preservation Reserve. Move to approve. Second. Any
either the historical commission or the, the memorialization committee and or um, interested homeowners to, toward maintaining it. It's a fairly straightforward, um, it's not a working fountain, um, it's, a, it's a brick pavered area. Um, and so, uh, so, so that will be one of the issues we'll need to resolve. Yes. Okay, because I'm, I, I, as I said last time, I don't mind restoring the fountain, but I do object to its isolated location, and I would hope that the Homeowners Association would step up and maintain it since it's not something the general public is going to stumble into on a regular basis. So I would hope they would at least be willing to do that much and take, take over the maintenance of the thing because it, it's not out where most people are going to see it. So thank you. Your suggestion is duly noted. <laughs> thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Uh, Councilor Tacey? <clears throat> yeah, I did a pretty unscientific poll in my ward. And um, overwhelmingly, I found no support for spending the tax dollars on the fountain in Ward 7. I did run into a big supporter of mine today outside of CBS, and I spoke with her at length. And she is a big supporter of it, and she's a good friend of mine. And I have to speak, I will vote no because my constituents overwhelmingly do not support this. And I did vote to support it reluctantly last time, and um, I will vote no this time. Any other discussion? Questions of Councilor Pindale? I think uh, um, Councilor Murphy's points about location are well taken, uh, but I still agree that it's uh, appropriate moral moralization, so I will vote for approve. Any I'm, I'm sorry, this is a closed session now. So, that, uh, any other discussion? Does you, do we favor a roll call? Yes, this? please. Councilor <coughs> Adams. Yes. Councilor Carney. Yes. Councilor White. Yes. Councilor <coughs> Freeman Daniels. Aye. Councilor Bard. Yes. <coughs> no. Councilor Yes. Councilor Schwartz. Yes. It passes on second reading, and the funds are approved. It's upon the recommendation of the Office in Planning and Development, uh, be it ordered the Sustainable Northampton Comprehensive Plan set a policy of improving pedestrian infrastructure. And whereas Historic Northampton, or the Northampton Historical Society, has offered to sell a 19.2 plus foot wide strip of land connecting Graves Avenue with Bridge Street Elementary School and whereas the land provides uh, immediate opportunities for improved pedestrian and bicycle access to uh, Bridge Street School and is supported by both the current and past school principal. Whereas the land provides longer term opportunities for improved infrastructure serving the school and whereas the land is not wide enough for a formal extension of Graves Ave which would require additional land in future City Council approval and whereas the funds for this acquisition are already on hand and no new appropriations required. Now, therefore, be it ordered that the City of Northampton, acting through its mayor, is authorized to purchase such land and any related easements on adjacent properties subject to historic Northampton, retaining the right of access across the property. <coughs> is there a motion? Move to postpone to January 17th. There's a motion to postpone to January 17th. Motion to That's a second, I guess. Any discussion on that? You would. May I? Yeah, please. Uh, it, um, this was originally postponed because the Graves Avenue residents had a lot of concern over the motivation and the uh, out the impact that this might have, and uh, we're actually hosting a meeting of Graves Avenue residents and representatives from the Office of Planning Development tomorrow, six o'clock at Bridge Street School. If anyone wants to join me on a Friday night, they're welcome. Uh, so obviously, without hearing from the residents on Graves Ave, I'm uncomfortable. I, I hope the rest of the council is uncomfortable pursuing this. Any other discussion or questions? Yes. Councillor, I know I have some relatives in Ward 3, and it was in question, and I wrote down some notes here that some of the parents were concerned of apparently the parents driving them down Graves Avenue is that a problem? That I believe that's one of the concerns about this uh, walkway, but I, I really wouldn't like to bring it up right now because it's uh, 
we're not we're not voting on it today but i do okay, believe but that that's a, i do believe you. i agree with you that's that okay. is one of the one of the concerns the ridgewood terrace uh uh effect so to speak Thank you. Uh, um, we have no more discussion. The motion is to postpone until the next council meeting, January 17. If all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Thank you. It is so. And this is upon the, uh, upon, upon the petition of 10 registered voters, uh, an ordinance, an ordinance of the City of Northampton, Massachusetts, providing that the Code of Ordinances, City of Northampton, Massachusetts, be amended by revising Section 35-3.4, zoning map of said code, uh, providing that parcel 18C-00376, Bridge Road, be rezoned from rural residential to urban residential be, and be ordained by the City Council of the City of Northampton and the City Council assembled as follows. that. Section 350-3.4 of the Code of Ordinances of the City of Northampton, Massachusetts be amended so that the map changes will be made as shown below, which you're not going to be able to see on the camera, but is available. <coughs> um, uh, accept a motion or? A move to postpone to that. January 17th. Uh, motion to postpone. Uh, do you want to clarify the motion? Well, um, when we originally postponed this at the um, December 6th meeting, um, it was suggested that this would go to bodies, neither of which have um, taken this matter up. And so I would hope we can take the time to still hear from those two other bodies regarding the issues that uh, residents in the area brought up and um, act at that point. Councilor Tacey? I have to agree. This is non-debatable, right? Postpone. Sorry? Postpone. Uh, motion to postpone is not debatable. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We're not debating. It's, 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 I, it, what I was asked for was clarification. So the motion is. Can I, oh, actually, can I clarify? Please, yeah. Councilor, do you want to commit this to Ed Lou? It's already been. It's, already been. it's been okay. committed oh, on has December it. 6th. It's scheduled. Yeah. It's coming up at the next meeting. Okay. Yes. So, next Tuesday. Thank you. So, all right, the motion's postponed. All those in favor of postponing till the 17th, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Sorry. So, it's postponed till the next council meeting. Uh, uh, pending a report from. Uh, Ed Lou and from the Board of Public Works. Um, this from Councilor, uh, no, sorry, not Councilor Mayor David J. Narkowitz. Um, this is a this well, this is a first actually. So this is uh, your President Dwight and honorable members of the City Council. In accordance with Section 3-6 of the Northampton Charter, I hereby disapprove of the attached amendment to Section 312-33 the location of parking areas for municipally owned or municipally operated motor vehicles, parking restrictions at certain municipal buildings adopted by the City Council on December 20th, <clears throat> 2012. The reasons for my disapproval relate to the proposed amendment to Section 312-33A. That amendment would delegate direct authority and control of parking areas reserved for municipal vehicles to the Transportation and Parking Commission. Such delegation exceeds both the purpose and the powers of the and the duties of the commission as enumerated in chapter 22 of the code of ordinances pursuant to section 22-119 uh, 3b the commission's oversight of an on-street and off-street parking spaces lots and structures is limited to policy issues uh, with day-to-day -day authority for maintenance operation and repair of these parking systems including the installation of signage reserved for the executive branch through the Director of Central Services. I, I disapprove of this attempt to reassign control over these parking areas reserved for municipal vehicles. I respectfully request that the City Council refer this ordinance amendment back to the Ordinance Committee for further review. I stand ready to work with the Council to resolve the aforementioned areas of concern so that a revised ordinance can be sent to me for approval. Sincerely, David J. Narcourt's Mayor. Um, what is the Council's pleasure? Uh, Councilor Freeman Daniels. Thank you. I, uh, I realized this was uh, initially my ordinance. Um, 
and uh, it's been vetoed. Um, but um, I spoke with the mayor about this last week, and uh, he and I had a, had a good conversation. And um, he's not here to represent his side of the story, so I can. There you go. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he left but it his peril. My my opinion is, um, I think there's a matter. I think there's some disagreement between us about what this section of the of the quote code does. Um, so my suggestion would not be to refer it to the ordinance committee, but instead to ask the ordinance <coughs> review committee, which is basically the ordinance committee, but ask the ordinance review committee to examine this um, and, uh, and, and just not, not, not to send it to, back to ordinance, but ask the ordinance review committee to examine it. So I don't know if- that a form of motion? Or? Yeah, so that's my recommendation, and I'd like to move that uh, the ordinance, that we refer this to the ordinance review committee. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, it's true. Good point. It hasn't been formed yet. Well, so, so <laughs> then maybe we'll table, we will postpone this indefinitely until, and ask the Ordinance Review to, Committee to examine it. Final discussion. Um, I wish the mayor were here because I'm confused after, after why the two readings and the passage of this, that these concerns first came up. Um, I'm just, I, I understand his reasoning, but I, I don't understand why it came up in, in, after this, after this council has already voted on it two times. Uh, that and I have other questions as well, but. Well, I was quite flattered to be the uh, sponsor of a ordinance that has been vetoed. I think the maybe first, the first time in, first, first it might be the first ever, in, yeah. in maybe a de in over a decade. It could thus, thus <laughs> formally establish status as a maverick. Right. No, yeah, I'm going to write my name in the desk now. But uh, but I think I think um, the, what the mayor said to me but again, he's not here to give his side of the story. But what he said was that uh, he was focused on um, the C section. Right. of this and that the the minor amendments to a and b were not he didn't even really think they were relevant and, and didn't, probably didn't even see them until they reached his desk so i think that's i think the c we we, we spent a long time on the c element and the a and b were, were to me they were just afterthoughts right. but uh that's if, if you recall that there was a whole string of ordinances relative to parking and mm -hmm. changing the description of uh traffic and transportation, taking the mayor out because the mayor was no longer there. So there was a whole slew of these that all came through together. And, and that's what he indicated to me was he missed the detail on this one, changing that authority. But the, there were a whole bunch of other changes we made that made it fine. It, it just occurs to me that we're discussing a table to a motion to table. So once again, yeah. my, my bad. This is, right, this is a postpone indefinite. Yeah. Okay. So this is another post. Uh, well, the motion is to postpone indefinitely. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> and abstentions. It is postponed indefinitely. Okay. Point, of, point of information. Sure. So it's postponed indefinitely, and, 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 um, and that's be, that's partially because there's no um, ordinance review committee yet. So, w when the ordinance review committee is formed, so we'll bring it back. Up. Refer, the, okay. I'll ask the president to put it back on the agenda, or he can do it without my asking. <laughs> <laughs> we come to the magical point in our meeting where you get updates from the council president, committee chairs. I don't have any. Um, I don't know if any of the. Oh goodness. Uh, Yes, Council just from the Transportation Parking Commission, uh, we we're still open for nominations on the Parking Committee. So, if, any, if there are any members of the public out there, or the press that want to <laughs> talk about how influential this committee is going to be, then uh, please. Uh, I think it's very important, given that it's one of one of the most contentious issues in this city is parking, which I actually always say is a blessing compared to other communities who <laughs> really really. <laughs> Big, big pressing issues. One of our most pressing issues is where we're going to put our damn cars. And I think that anyone who can contribute to, to help ease the stress would be greatly appreciated by this community. Before our council president goes on much longer, I move to adjourn. I second that. My email is out there. Any discussion about the adjourn? All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Opposed?
Look yeah. like